Get learning with Santino. Hi everyone, I'm Santino, and today we are learning about teen numbers. You might have started to use teen numbers as you count to 20. Join me as we find out about teen numbers and what they look like. So, let's get learning! Today, I have lots of coloured cotton balls here. Watch as I pick some out and drop them onto the table. There are quite a few cotton balls here. I wonder how many there are. Count with me as I arrange them onto a 10 frame. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This 10 frame is full and a full 10 frame represents what number? Yes, it represents one group of 10. There are still more green balls left to count. So let's use this second 10 frame and continue counting. We know that this is 10, so let's count on as we add four more. What comes after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's clap the syllables in 14. Ready? Four, teen. And now let's use our fists to show the syllables. Fists ready? Four, teen. Can you hear the word teen in 14? Well, teen has a special meaning. It gives us a clue that there's a group of 10. Can you spy the 10 in our collection of 14? Where is the 10? Yes, it's here, the full 10 frame. There's also a number hidden in 14. What number can you hear in 14? Four. Where is the four on our 10 frames? Yes, there's four. So 14 is made up of one group of 10 and four more. And this is what 14 looks like as a numeral. The one represents the one group of 10 and the four represents the four more. Let's have a think about other teen numbers. Imagine, what would 16 look like on the 10 frames? Can you hear the teen in 16? That gives us a clue about the group of 10. And then how many more to make 16? What about 17 or 18 or even 19. Do you have an idea of what these teen numbers would look like on 10 frames? Well, just like we did with 14, you could grab some counters or blocks and represent the teen numbers on 10 frames yourself. Now I'd like to show you another collection of coloured cotton balls. Orange cotton balls! Count with me as I arrange them onto the 10 frames. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The ten frame is full, but let's keep counting. What comes after ten? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have fifteen cotton balls. Let's clap the syllables in fifteen. Ready? Fifteen. What is a clue that you can hear in the word fifteen? Tell a friend what you're thinking. I have a feeling you heard the teen at the end. That's the clue for this ten. How many more cotton balls are there? There are five more, aren't there? Well, when we say the word fifteen, we don't actually say five. We say fif, 15. Fif in 15 represents five. So 15 is made up of 10 and five, 15. There's another teen number I'd like to show you. Have a look at this collection. What can you see? 
There's a full 10 frame and how many more? One, two, three. Let's count how many cotton balls this shows. We know this is 10, let's count on. What comes after 10? 11, 12, 13. There are 13 cotton balls. Let's clap the syllables. Ready? 13. And now let's use our fists. Hands up. 13. Did you hear teen as the clue for this 10? And how many more cotton balls are there? Did you count three more? Yes. But when we say 13, we don't actually say three. We say thir, thirteen. Thir in thirteen represents three. So thirteen is made up of ten and three. Thirteen. So now we know the teen numbers from thirteen to nineteen. We can hear the teen, which is a clue that there is a group of ten in the number. And we can see that all the teen numbers start with a one. But can you see some other numbers that start with a one? Did you notice the numbers 11 and 12? Yes, 11 and 12 also have a group of 10, but they don't have the word teen in their name. This is what 11 looks like. One group of 10 and one more. And this is what 11 looks like as a numeral. This one represents the one group of 10, and this one represents one more. 11. And this is what 12 looks like. One group of 10 and two more. This is 12 as a numeral. One represents the one group of 10 and two represents two more. 12. Well, now we've discovered all of the teen numbers and we know that the word teen gives us a clue. What clue? Yes, that there is a group of 10 in the number. Well, now it's your turn to explore the teen numbers. Grab some counters or some blocks and arrange them onto a 10 frame. Then you can get counting into the teens. Happy learning and see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. There's lots more to see. Come back again soon for more learning with me.